Greetings, friends. Today, our focus will be on the cities and how to reach the millions of people who live in these urban centers around the world. As Seventh-day Adventists, we believe in a better city and a better life, not only for that ultimate better city, the New Jerusalem and eternal life, but to have a more abundant life right now. And we've been given very specific counsel in how to do that, both in the Bible and through the spirit of prophecy. Perhaps the most well-known counsel comes from the book Ministry of Healing, page 143. Christ's method alone will give true success in reaching the people. The Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. He showed his sympathy for them, ministered to their needs, and won their confidence. Then he bade them follow me. Today, I would like to introduce to you, by video, Dr. Manuel Alva, a physician who is reaching the people in the city of Chicago, Illinois, in a very effective way, following the godly counsel we have been given. In this particular video, Dr. Alva is interviewed by Pastor Gary Kraus, an Associate Secretary of the General Conference and Director of Adventist Mission. I pray, and I will be praying, that you find Dr. Alva's example to be a blessing and that wherever you may live, you will be inspired to find effective ways to reach the people around you for Jesus. Maranatha. My guest is Dr. Manuel Alva, who is here at a center of influence in the suburbs of Chicago. Dr. Alva, thanks so much for joining us. Now, this is quite a center. Can you describe where we are and what this is? Yes, right now we're on the middle of the uh, Adventist Community Services thrift store. Yes. It's called Treasure Hunt. Jesus is our best treasure and the Word of God is, but uh, to the people outside, they can come here and find bargains. Good quality clothing and home uh, utensils at a cheap price. They can have friendly staff and something to read, something to take home and read. And they want to know why is this closed on Sabbath since it's the day of most activity. And we let them know why. We, they get invited to come to the church meetings and the padlocks that we have here every Sabbath. Right, so we're, we're in a thrift store here, which is like the storefront. But as we go through here, the center has many different aspects. Correct. So let's go and have a look through here. Um, so this is on a very busy road here. Yes, that's old, old Route 66. Oh, the old the Route 66. The one that runs from Chicago yes, to LA. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And so we come through yes. here yes. and now we're into the clinic. Yes. So this connects, the two are connected in so far as um, you have the same vision, you have the right. same purpose. Yes. Um, now describe this clinic to me. Well, you come here because other doctors sent you. You're usually a member of the Hispanic community around here. And you come to check your insides, your stomach or your bowels. We don't do that here. We just interview them here. Yes. And we do a lot of, a big component of health education. Hola. You know that a lot of people uh, in our community, especially Hispanics in this country, have fatty liver, cirrhosis, high cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure. So by just coming and being interviewed for a colonoscopy, we evaluate these problems. So we just tell them, do you want to change your health around? Many respond to the challenge. They come to listen to the health lectures or to the cooking classes or when they have a, a severe illness, is when they remember and then they come. So it's just a matter of patience and reminding them that there's a solution for their daily health problems. Yes. Now, Doctor, you're a um, gastroenterologist. What gets you involved in the center of influence? Why aren't you just off at a hospital somewhere making a lot of money? Well, uh, I would just want everyone in this neighborhood, in this community, to meet Jesus mm. and to have enjoy better health, to be rid of all this malaise and fatigue and illnesses that are attacking our community rampantly. Yeah. Uh, I was sick myself 
I know how, how it feels to be sick with high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and depression, and asthma. And thank God, by applying the eight easy principles of health, I'm a different person. And I have to recognize every day. And I like to share one or two nuggets with my patients that come here. And uh, thank God they're responding. Fantastic. So we have the clinic here. We have treatment rooms around those right. corners. Um, and and is, is it of an evening that you have like your seminars and your cooking demonstrations? Uh, yes, in the weekends. Okay, in the weekends. And some evenings we have demonstrations here uh, in the auditorium. Okay, let's, well, let's move in here yes. and look at this after yeah. you, Doctor. Thank this you, is the, um, the auditorium. Yeah. So we have the, the thrift store, Adventist Community Services. We have the clinic. Yes with all the seminars, everything that are connected, and this is the auditorium, what, what happens here? Here we have lectures, we have a screen for audiovisual, and we have a sound. Uh, it's usually better at night when there's not a lot of light. So uh, we conduct health lectures here. There's a group that meets weekly here called Neurotics Anonymous. Neurotics Anonymous. Neurotics Anonymous. <laughs> that is like Alcoholics Anonymous, but for people with depression, anxiety. Yes. Um, the most common things that affect uh, neighborhoods here. And they can come and share their histories and uh, learn about these 12 steps, which are really biblical steps. How you recognize your problem, you recognize that you're, you can't do anything about it, recognize that there's a higher power ready to help you, and then you ask this higher power, please help me. And then he helps you recognizing your failures more than what you thought originally. Then you can ask for forgiveness to people that you have offended. And you learn in humility to live with other people. I'm participating in that because all of us are not immune to anxieties and stresses of modern life. Exactly. So it's becoming a great help. Wonderful. And on Sabbaths, you have a, a worshiping group here, a church yes. plant? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's about 30 or 40 people that meet. We have more chairs inside that are utilized right now for the clinic. So, yeah, we have a wonderful time, and we usually have uh, every Sabbath since we started, we have a potluck, and it's a healthy potluck. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> no one has gotten sick, thank God. <laughs> That's Come good. here, and uh, we get healthy food that actually heals your gastritis, dilates your blood vessels, so your blood pressure goes down. Uh, so it's a good advertisement for our patients that come, or people who walk through the store uh, that obviously have health problems, they're invited to come and just give it a try. Wonderful. Many do. Wonderful. Uh, some of them never come back, but the seed is planted. Yes. And we know that very soon that seed is going to germinate and give fruit for the glory of God. Terrific. Speaking of which, can you tell me a story of someone whose life has been changed by coming here? Yeah, I wish she was here. Uh, Angelica is the manager of our store right now. She uh, had health problems, came to the clinic, she realized that there was more in the clinic than just health. Uh, our chaplain, pastor at that time, got interested in her and uh, visited her at home, discovered that she was related to Seventh-day Adventist people, started studying the Bible with her. She was baptized, and then she wanted to serve in some capacity. Uh, we asked people that come in, what are you good for? What, are you, what is your spirit? She said, well, I have managed a store before. We needed someone like that. So she's the manager of the store, and she's in fire for Christ, and she will tell everyone that works there, you know, give, her, give them a pamphlet, tell them that they're welcome to come on the Sabbath and enjoy the fellowship and the meal, especially if you're alone in this community, if you have no one to, to look after you, no relatives, no friends, here's a place. Fantastic. Thank you so much for what you're doing here. Uh, appreciate what you're doing, and may God bless you. And viewers at home, please pray for this center of influence. Please pray for Dr. Manuel and his wife, Dr. Esther, who's working here as well, and the whole team, as they make a difference, as they put Christ's method of ministry into practice right here in this neighborhood.